Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're going to see how we can connect the Modicon M221 with the bus coupler over mod bus TCP. So let's go to the presentation. So the my initial idea of this is to recreate uh, one of the project that we have been used to for the conveyor belt and then replicate that in a distributed IO. But I changed my mind. Uh, what I'm going to do is to um, how we can connect the TM3 bus coupler over Modus TCP with the Modicon M221. So the idea of this is to create something like this. So I have the PLC M221 in this network and I'm going to connect to a distributed IO using um, bus cover over model TCP with a TN3 model. Okay, so basically this is the idea. The thing that we have here is that the uh, TN3 bus cover has the possibility to use model bus TCP and Ethernet IP. Here we have a limitation on the PLC side in the Modicon M221 and we must use the Modbus TCP, not the Ethernet IP. So let's continue with the presentation. So in order to add this um, Modbus TCP uh, device, we have the possibility to use, as we saw in the past, the read and write um, function blocks in order to access to the information of the bus cover as we seen in the previous video. But um, here what I want to show you is that if you are working with the M21, you should be able to connect to the bus coupler easily and the configuration goes through the M21 to the bus cover. So you don't need to use the TN3 BC IO scanner, uh, IO configurator, and then enter the web server of the uh, into the um, what's sort of the bus cover in order to configure and download the application. Okay, so that's the idea. So, on the M21, we just need to go to configuration, configure our Ethernet port, and then enable the Modbus TCP. Once we enable the Modbus TCP, we should be able to add the IP address of the device that we want, and then search on the list for the TN3 BCI. EIP, okay, which is the bus coupler over uh, Modbus TCP. If I'm not wrong, here is something important. You can add up to two devices of the Modbus uh, of the bus coupler over Ethernet IP over uh, Modbus TCP. So if you need to add more of this bus coupler, then you need to add it as a generic device, as we saw in the previous video. So we should be able to add the resistors of the inputs and outputs manually here. So let's continue with this. So once we add the device, we should be able to see all this, okay? And if we go to the initial request, okay, we should be able to see what is the information that we have. So once you add the device, you should be able to see here in the list that the device is added. Then what we need to do is to drag and drop from the list of devices or the TN3 uh, IOs into the bus cover in order to add it. Then you should be able to see the, the field for the symbol. Okay, so you can use this symbol in your program instead of using the address. Okay, so that's the main goal of this. So you have everything together in the same software. Now, if you go to the initial request, okay, you can see here there are some parameters. And this over here is the most important because here is the configuration of the bus coupler. Okay, so if you send this information initially, okay, you will configure the address, the, the device. Okay, if we configure the, um, the bus coupler to want all the devices that you added over here, this part. So let's try to do something similar to this. Okay, what I'm going to do in my case is to program the M21, connect with the TN3 bus coupler, add a TM3 module, okay, which is this one that I have over here. Let me just show you this part. So I have the M21, it's connected over Ethernet, okay, 
to this part of the bus coupler this one is connected to my laptop okay this is the initial configuration that i have in the previous video so here next to the bus coupler okay you can see this tm3 model so i'm going to read from the bus coupler this information so let's go back over here let's go to the okay good so let's go back here okay so i have opened a new project i'm going to enact this part okay here we need to configure the ethernet port in my case it's going to be one and two six eight two zero one and uh two two one okay going to enable all this part and apply so a final run i have already configured this on the on the end to one that i have next to me so if we go over here pin two two one there we go and the other device is the three one which is the bus coupler okay so this part is the configuration of the Ethernet port. Now, in the mode of TCP, we need to enable the mode of TCP I have already explained. Add the IP address of the bus coupler that I want to use. Here, we just need to select the bus coupler. Add. And if you, for example, need another one, just add a new one. But if you want to add a third one, you are not able to do that. So you will need to add a genetic device okay and then here in the channels okay you will need to add the read and write for let me just open the tm3 pc tm3 pcio configurator so i can show you what you need to do you will need to if you don't know the registers okay so imagine that you have this one as i have and ta -ta -ta -ta, I have this one, TM3, add, close. We just need to go over here, the memory table, and find the inputs and outputs that you have for, for your uh, TM3 configurator. So this is how you can access to those parameters in case you need more than two bus cover in your network. Okay, so let's continue. So going to delete this one because i don't need it and also this one. here you can see the initial request uh, initial request there is nothing over here because i haven't configured anything for the bus coupler okay and i haven't added over here so i'm going to apply these changes you can see here now the bus coupler is selected okay initial request you have this configuration now now, if I try to add, for example, uh, this, this, and uh, da, 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 TN3, this one, for example, over here. Okay, so you can see now that that initial has been changed. Okay, have more information. So this is how the PLC configured the, the, the bus coupler. So I'm going to delete all of this. And I'm going to work with this one, okay, which is the one that I have. So here, what we need to do, once we have already defined which are the models that we're going to use in the bus coupler, okay, is to configure the, the elements that we are going to read. So this one would be analog input 01, that came from the N172 that I have connected. This one, analog input two, um, empty. Okay, here you need to specify and configure, which is gonna be the, the use. Okay, apply. So here we can see and work in our project. This one will be the analog output. So analog output test. It's gonna be uh, ta -ta -ta, zero to 10 volts. There we go. So here, what we have done is to enter into each module of the bus coupler that we're going to have, 
and then we assign a symbol to the variable so we can use that in our project so if we go now to our programming part we should be able to mm -hmm, let me see and one so I'm going to make a comparison here uh and i'll input zero one underscore m172 it is the name so here when it's higher than uh 50 500 okay so here you can see that now instead of using this address okay we just use the symbol so that's the idea so we have already configured this into the controller now it's time to download this to the um to the bus coupler first to the m221 and then the m221 will send that information to the bus coupler so let's proceed with this so this is all right. Let me just double check if I'm missing something. The AP address. And this one, this is correct. You can also change this if you want. Uh, okay, so now we should be able to connect. So I'm going to select this target, the end to one. Loading. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to play with this. So, if we take a look over here, we are reading something right now. Okay, so let me just open the other software, which is for the M172. Let's see if I have the connection to this one. Yes, I'm connected. I'm going to send information over here. So this software is the other one because I am using the another PLC that has analog outputs to connect to the analog inputs of this one. Okay. So let me just go back over here. So now I'm going to write um, a value over here. Uh, to turn but 25 cent you can see here that is changing okay I'm going to write uh 2.5 okay you can see that it's working so what I'm doing right here is to read the information for the bus copper okay this can be a remote part it doesn't mean it doesn't it's, it's not necessary to have next to the plc you can have it at least in ethernet you have up to 500 meters you can use this uh let me just show you here in this case that's just to show you how it works there is no physical connection over here okay as you can see and the only physical connection is via the ethernet cable so this one can be uh, distributed at you. Okay, so that's the main goal of this part. So, um, what we have done here, let me just check something here. If I don't missing something. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. Okay. So this is. So, what we have done now is to how you can configure the configuration of the bus copper inside the machine expert basic in the m one so you don't need to open the other one the tn3 bcio scanner you just need to connect to this one um so basically that's it uh, the idea of having the m one is to ecd uh, share the variables with the bus copper without having additional uh, softwares to configure okay that's the advantage and you can use the IO scanner to easily read the information from the bus coupler and if you need to use a generic device you can add the generic device so let's try to do that uh, no, because I need to open the other one so um, let's do it like this so here in the channel you can see that we are reading this information so what you can do if you are using a generic device okay is to read this part over here and here you can see that you have more information about the status by default so if you access to this in the 
programming, tools, do, 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 system options, network options here. You can see that you have all the status. And here you can use that in your software just to identify what's going on. So this is another way to identify the problems or see what's going on in the communication. So um, this is it for the communication of the M221 and the bus coupler. In the next video, we're going to see how to make the troubleshooting in the communication that we have. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching this video. and I see you on the next one.